What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we could use our VR headset inside of Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for this particular tutorial, I'm actually gonna be using the HP Reverb 2. This uses Windows Mixed Reality, which has inside out tracking for your VR headset. And so for the actual computer, the reason I'm positioned like this is because I'm actually gonna be using the HP ZBook, which you've seen on my channel. I'm gonna combine the two together because the ZBook is a powerful enough laptop that I can actually run VR with Unreal Engine 5, and it's a perfect combination. So let's get right into the tutorial. So as you can see here, I have the mixed reality running there in the background and I have the Unreal Engine project browser opened up. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using the latest version of Unreal Engine 5, but you can also use the same techniques for Unreal Engine 4 or the previous versions or whatever comes out ahead. So I have this opened up right now and where you want to go to is right here where it says games. And so we have a bunch of templates right here. You can see we have first person, top down, but the one we want to use is this one and it's set up for VR. Now, the cool thing about the latest version of Unreal Engine, I believe this started in 4.27, but it's implemented in the latest version is we don't have to select what kind of VR headset we want to use. Everything is using open XR. And so no matter what VR headset you have plugged in first, it's going to automatically map everything to there. So there's no guesswork or anything. So you want to get this opened up. I actually already have a project file set up. So I'm going to go over to my recent projects and I'm just going to open up my project file here. And there we are. So we're inside of Unreal Engine 5. You can see this is the basic setup for the VR template. So we have a couple of weapons here. We have some blocks. You have a VR spectator camera over there. If you want to have somebody else watching you while you're in VR, everything is set up for you right off the bat. So what I'm going to do now is actually put on my VR headset and I'm just going to show you guys what this demonstration has included in it. So I have my VR headset on right now, but before I actually dive into VR, let me show you something in Unreal Engine that we need to set first. So if I come back over to Unreal Engine, you can see in the latest version, we have these three dots right here. You want to select this and you want to make sure that you have VR preview selected. If you use an Unreal Engine 4, it's going to be like a down arrow. So make sure you click that down arrow and then make sure you have VR preview selected. So I'm actually going to click on this. All right. So now I'm inside of VR. You can see I have both controllers right here and I'm actually going to turn around. So I'm going to use the, the live mic that I have here for my audio because I want to be able to pick up and interact with these items. So I'm actually going to turn around here and then i'm using my left controller the thumb pad to actually turn my headset then on the right controller if i hold the thumbstick forward i can actually teleport and so i'm at the table right now let me come down reach down and all i'm doing is i'm holding in the one trigger and using the other trigger to shoot so it's interacting with each of the objects so all this is set on by default we didn't have to do any programming or anything the blueprints are all included inside of the VR template there. So even if I want to come over and grab this, you can toss it, you can interact with all these different items. Everything is already set to go. And then I could come in here as well. We have some examples of the audio and everything. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it actually has the ambient audio. So no matter where you're turned at, you can hear it, you know, going from left to right in there. And then we have an example for a no teleport zone. So if I pull it over like this, you can see we can't teleport there, but I could teleport to the edge here. So in that last section, I just showed you guys the VR template that we have inside of Unreal Engine 5. For this section, I'm actually going to show you how we can use that VR template within our own scenes so that we could do VR within our own creations. And so I'm going to start by opening up Unreal Engine 5 with a project that I got off of the marketplace here. And if you look, you can see it's just a dungeon scene. It's actually one of the free assets for this month as of right now. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. But we have everything already built out here. Let me come over here to my real outliner. And I just want to make sure I delete this player start because I want to bring in our own player start for the VR. So what I'm going to do now is actually come down here to the VR template. I'm going to come down here under blueprints and I'm going to scroll down until I see VR pawn. So I want to click and drag this into my scene and I'm just going to drag it up just a tiny bit like that. Not too high off the ground because the height of our HMD is actually going to dictate our height within the scene here. So it doesn't matter really where your camera is at and then make sure you have VR pawn selected within your outliner and I'm going to drag this up like so. So I see my details panel and if I come down here under auto possesses player where it says disabled, I want to click on this 
and actually go to player zero. And so this is going to allow us to actually use our controllers and everything in our HMD within our environment there. So if you leave it as disabled, it's not going to work at all. You can view the scene, but you're not going to have any controls or anything. So back into the project here, there's only one more thing that we need to do. So if I come over here where it says quickly add to the project and remember this is Unreal Engine 5. So if you're using four, it's gonna be in a different spot. But if you come down here to volumes, the volumes are gonna be the same whether you're using Unreal Engine four or five. And the one that you want is this one up top. This is Nav Mesh Balance Volume. So I'm just gonna click on that. And you can see that it engulfs our scene over here within this little yellow box. And what I'm gonna do now is come over here to scale, make sure I have my volume selected. And I'm just gonna make it like 100 just off the bat. And you can see that the floor turned red and even it's going up the stairs and everything, which is cool. So everything that is encompassed by the green here, that's going to be where you can actually navigate for your VR control. So whenever you're teleporting everything that's green, you're going to be able to teleport to. So even the steps with the elevation, which is cool that it automatic detected that. But if you don't see the green, all you have to do is hit the shortcut button P on your keyboard like so. So just make sure you have something selected within the scene, hit the shortcut P on your keyboard, and that's going to toggle back and forth between it so if you add that volume in there and you don't see the green mesh at the bottom or anything encompassing your scene just hit the p button and you should be able to see it so that's basically it for the setup there so now all we have to do is basically make everything go to our hmd like so so you want to make sure you deploy it to a vr level again click on the three buttons here if you don't have it selected already you want this one that says vr preview i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to throw on my hmd here all right, cool. So I have the HP reverb on right now. So I'm going to use the left controller just to turn my head a little bit. And then the left controller I'm going to use for navigation here. So you see, you could go up the steps and everything as well. And it looks like it's a little bit low. And that's because I'm sitting down. If I stand up, it will actually go with my HMD. So actually, let me stand up. See, like so. So if you seem like you're too low, it's not because of where you position the camera. It's basically just because you're sitting down or however your height is inside your environment. So that's basically the basic setup for just getting VR controls within your scene working. And it's as easy as that. So yeah, just go to the VR template, make sure you add in the VR pawn, add your volume and you're good to go. So getting VR set up inside of Unreal Engine is easy these days. It has a really intuitive VR template that allows you to take your own scene, implement the VR spawn into there and you're good to go. So if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave me a big thumbs up and until next time, stay fresh, Keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.